This is what the film looks like when it arrives from the lab. Here I am using a Prime Film 3650U scanner, which is a very simple dedicated 35mm scanner that can be obtained for $50 at most. I believe the quality is adequate for scanning slides. I am using ViewScan software as it works the best with any scanner. It's easy to generate a preview and 3600 DPI scans afterwards. The scanner operation is extremely simple, just lift the film gate, move to the next frame, close it and press the button, it will scan automatically at full resolution your next frame. Repeat until you scan all of your frames and then crop them to size and label which one is right, which one is left. This way you can create a printed stereograms. For example, for a Holmes viewer. The slide cutter that's dedicated for stereo slides will make it much easier and faster to cut the whole roll of film. The most difficult part of using a semi-automatic slide cutter is loading the film correctly into it so that we don't lose any part of any frames.
There are several ways to mount the slides, the stereo slides for viewing. I chose to use inexpensive aluminum masks produced by MD. It's spelled E-M-D-E. There are of course RPT plastic mounts which are very expensive. Um, there are cardboard mounts but the scarcity of the supply makes them more and more expensive and unaffordable to use. Aluminum masks have the advantage of having dimples under which you can put the slice, sliced frame and this way you don't have to adjust the spacing between the frames, the left and right frames. The drawback is that the aluminum mask is, is very thin so you need another cardboard mask to cover it up so that it does not twist inside the viewer. I believe it's the quickest and most affordable process that's available in 2023. If you have a laser cutter, you could produce your own cardboard masks, but then you would have to glue in each slide left and right slide. Alternatively, you could 3D print plastic mounts and there are projects online that are available for free, but it takes a couple hours to print just one slide holder. You need to make a judgment how much you value your own time. The whole process, as you can see, is long and expensive as it is. One mounted stereo slide will effectively cost a couple dollars, probably two or three dollars in total, factoring in the cost of film, development, masks, etc. And what, what else is that you cannot even share it with someone because you cannot easily reproduce film. You cannot just make a copy of it. The only way to share stereo slides is to scan them and make a stereogram that's printed and it's viewed differently. The original method of sharing the stereograms or stereo slides was through projection, but it still requires your friends to come over to your place and you need to get a special, expensive and rare stereo slide projector. What's more, you need to mount your slides very precisely and the masks will be different depending on the scene you photographed. So. If your subject is nearby at medium distance or at long, long distance from you, then you need to use three different masks. If you factor in the cost of the whole operation, then you will understand why stereo photography was never popular. It never caught up with the mass public. It's just too difficult and too expensive.